Good morning! Or good noon time! It's lunch break. So what are we doing? We're sitting out in the yard. Having a picnic. Having a picnic. Without the table. Without a table. Blanket. blanket well, the table, the table is over there and it's in the sun. And it's nice day today, but it's still warm in the sun. So Angie was sitting in the sun. I came out and sat in the yard. This nice little shade tree back here. They got they got a feeder there that the birds are just fighting over. We had to get onto them. Like straighten up, you two. Anyway, so yeah, lunch break is just sitting in the yard eating some food and chilling, enjoying the shade and the sun. And I mean, look at the the sky is blue. No real clouds. It's a beautiful day. I told Angie we should be riding somewhere today, like Bennett Springs or something. Our thoughts are with uh, all of our all of our peeps in Florida. I know that they are. It's it's starting to become a reality. The the hurricane is moving along the coast and um, you know spinning up some thunderstorms and some rain and potential tornadoes. And so I know the whole crew is is worried about that. So. No, my crew is. Our crew is. They are, <laughs> they are a, a, a nervous ball of energy. So, anyway, our thoughts and prayers are with all of Florida while we sit here in, in Missouri, um, watching it from afar. So, hopefully, everything turns out good. Tonight is a uh, volleyball. Is it volleyball? Yep. We have a volleyball game tonight. We're gonna go um, watch Lauren. Um, Hopefully, kick some booty in volleyball. Uh, they're going to Seymour. Mm -hmm. To Seymour, they're playing Seymour. You've heard a lot about Seymour, right? We've been to Seymour like three times since we've been here in just a few days. So we're going back to Seymour tonight to uh, see more volleyball. <laughs> we're going to see more volleyball. We're going to see more. Anyway, I'm going to finish my lunch here in the yard, and uh, we'll see you guys here in a little bit. <sighs> All right, guys same place i've ended a few videos this week i'm actually sitting in the bedroom where it's quiet um we uh we went to see uh angie's oldest niece um lauren play volleyball tonight she they won like it's the best three out of five they won three games straight out and um Wayne bam thank you ma'am it was over so we came back hung out with the family a little bit figured i better get this video done so that i can get it um you know, edited and uploaded because uh, the internet out here isn't like super fast. So it usually takes a few hours just for it to download. But anyway, yesterday's video um, was about insurance and checking to see if you had the right insurance coverage, um, if you were covered in case of an accident, because, um, you know, like I said in that video, the majority of accidents are single bike accidents. Um, I hit a deer, I hit gravel, I slid off the road, um, any number of things like that. And uh, like our insurance wouldn't cover us for that, not medically. Um, it covers the bike, but it wouldn't cover the riders. And, uh, you know, bikes are easy to replace. Um, you know, getting a human well again is very expensive. So anyway, the response to that was awesome. A lot of people didn't know it. And that was one of the reasons I did the video was because I didn't know it either. And um, I learned it. So when I learn stuff like that, I like to share it with you guys because uh, maybe you don't know. Anyway, on to what I wanted to cover in today's video, and that is a little more about support bikers. So uh, a lot of you that have followed me um, know that we created support bikers in 2020 to help biker-owned businesses, but it's evolved, right? So what it is now is our goal is to build the world's largest biker network because we know um, in all of our years what a network is worth. Uh, because those connections have connections, have connections, have connections. You see how this works? So uh, if we can bring all the bikers together, right, then anything that we need, we have a connection for, right? If we need a roofer, there's probably a roofing company that a biker owns. If we need our, our bike repaired, if we need our bike towed, if we need, you know, to find the best roads, the best food, whatever that may be, whatever we may need, we should be able to find um, a biker or somebody that a biker trusts, right? Those connections, that network is invaluable because when we need help, 
right, when we do the memorial rides um, and we want to get it out there for everybody that wants to participate to do one, um, we, have a, we have an easy way to get it out to the public. Um, if we're raising money for something, if, uh, if we had an accident, we got to go fund me. You know, you have a place to put that um, and all that stuff, right? A place where you guys can hang out, where you can get advice on, um, you know, what motorcycle to buy, what tires to use, what brakes, um, all that stuff, where to ride, where to eat. That's the goal here. The goal is to bring all of the biker community together in one place and be able to support each other um, in whatever that support looks like. And, uh, you know, support can come in lots of ways. So, um, of course, one way to support is when they're doing a fundraiser or whatever, a donation, right? Well, what if, what if you don't have any money? What if you can't donate? There's a thousand other ways that you can support. For example, if you can't donate to a GoFundMe, what stops you from sharing that GoFundMe to everybody that you know and then maybe somebody that you know has the potential to make that donation. Simple, right? Um, that's that network. Because if you can't provide for me what I'm looking for, maybe somebody in your network can. What if I'm looking for a particular part for a motorcycle? You don't have it, but one of your buddies has one sitting in his garage. I can't get to your buddy, but you can get me to your buddy. That's what Support Bikers is about, right? It's about us all connecting each other with all of our resources so that all of us um, can find that part, can raise that money, can accomplish whatever we need to accomplish. Uh, another way to support, like this video, right? You can literally take this video, um, you can subscribe to the channel, you can share the video with your friends and family. Um, that helps support us doesn't cost you a thing, it's completely free, but that is another way to support a fellow biker. When somebody posts a welcome post in a group and says, hey, my name is Sonny and I ride X and here's a picture on my bike. You wanna know how to support that? Just tell him, hey man, nice bike. It's that easy to be supportive of another biker. And that is the whole point. The whole point to support bikers is a place where people can connect and they can share and they can support. Really simple concept, and we are growing. Every day, more people find out about who Support Bikers is, what we're about, and what we're doing. Um, everything we do is free. Um, we have sponsors. Uh, the reason we have sponsors is so that we can keep everything for free. Uh, we don't sell anything, with the exception of we do have some shirts and hats, stickers, some merch, but we're not out here selling you insurance, we're not out here selling you any of that. That's not our job. Um, I want all of our services to be free. Um, we'll pick up sponsors and all to cover the costs. But that is our goal, is to provide you a free network where you can connect, share, um, and support each other. So we have multiple ways you can do this. One, we have supportbikers.com. You can put a free listing on there. We also have on Facebook, Support Bikers Group. There's about 52,000 members. You can join it, but it's basically bikers from all over the world. Then we have individual states. Now those are growing slowly. Um, we can't open them all up because we can't handle that. So we open them up gradually, but um, you can look and see if your state is already opened up. If not, um, join the national group and we'll open your state up at some point in time, I promise. Um, I just can't tell you when. But anyway, those are, are ways that you can get in the Support Bikers Network and start supporting each other. And uh, guys, I can't wait to see you in the groups, connect with you, and uh, maybe we'll be able to support you in some way. Anyway, that's it. That's it for the night. Um, I'm done. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to upload it. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.